Guys, today I want to check out a game that goes by the name of Terra Nil. So this game came out, I think about three weeks ago or so. Few of you have recommended it to me. I'm a big fan of city builders and I've played, I feel like 80% of the city builders that have come out over the last couple of years. So today we're checking out this one. Um, from what I understand, it's a lot of fun. It's got this like pixely type of art. If you look at like the Steam reviews, basically all of them are very positive. The majority of the negative reviews are saying, yo, the price is too much. So the main negativity that this game has gotten in is that it's like 10, maybe 15 hours long. So in loco hours, it's probably closer to 25. Um, but that's apparently the main criticism and they're charging 25 euro for it. Yeah, so they charge 25 euro for a game that's like 10 to 15 hours long. Um, I'm not sure what to expect, but we're gonna dive in. Considering though that that is the main criticism that people have had of the game, must be pretty good. Someone said this is Dutch Simulator? Yeah. So I think it's all about uh, terraforming an area with windmills, right? Isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> I mean, if that's the game, I think it's right up my alley. A lot of windmills in this game? Oh my god. I will definitely be playing Frostpunk 2 whenever that releases, yes. I was actually thinking of replaying Frostpunk earlier today, but then I realized, you know what, I've been replaying a lot of games lately. I should probably check out some new stuff instead. Um, so I guess we'll find out whether or not it's worth 25 euro. Yeah, we'll see. Um, are there any settings that I should enable? No, not a whole lot that I can set up. Okay, new restoration. Let's see. Windmills and hydro power, dude. <laughs> that is flawless. Very good. Okay. This is called Outside, for those of you uh, that are unfamiliar. Beginner's Guide to Ecosystem Restoration. This book serves as a guide to the intricate process of restoring an environment from a wasteland to a thriving ecosystem. The process is not always easy, and even with this guide, you will need to experiment to understand exactly what needs to be done. In the pages that follow, you will find descriptions of the regions, flora and fauna you're likely to encounter. The book also contains blueprints of machines and structures that will help you in your task. If you are successful, you eventually no longer need this book. When that happens, I ask that you pass it along, that it may serve someone else. <laughs> the beginner's guide, man, okay. I'm just gonna casually... Uh, what do we call it? Just restore a wasteland? Okay. Thank you very much, Lantouche, for the Prime sub. Welcome. Uh, good luck with your journey of restoration. There are a variety of approaches, or approaches rather, to wasteland reclamation. What is yours? Gardener, I want to create beautiful, vibrant landscapes. I want to restore biodiversity and balance to the environment. Recommended for players with strategy game experience. I want to rebuild the ecosystems with sophisticated machinery. Okay, I'll go with ecologist. I think this is the difficulty setting. Yeah, yeah, so this one's the easy mode. This one makes it harder. Okay. To begin with some, or to begin with some basics, pan the camera by moving your mouse cursor. Okay. Alternatively, you can press and hold the middle mouse button. Okay. You can also pan WASD. Finally, try zooming in. Any wasteland reclamation project should start with a turbine. Let's go, boys. Right from the start, no technology, no research, nothing required. Right from the get-go, we get a windmill. Now, for those of you that have never been to the Netherlands, we, we got a couple of those, okay? We, we, we've got a... We, we've a, a few. Now that you have electricity, you can clean the soil. Try to fit four toxin scrubbers as far from the turbine as possible. Cleanses nearby wasteland of toxins, converting it into fertile soil. Okay. 
That looks hella fertile, dude. Look at all that soil. Some buildings can be rotated. Okay. Select the irrigator and try this now. Okay, so this one is 152. I would assume that's good. Higher number equals better. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll just go with the bigger number. Dude, we have already... Reclaimed nature. Just like that. If you are ever lost, you can always look in the handbook. Okay. Increasing the landscape's greenery is your primary goal, but remember to keep an eye out on the available resources. To begin with, get the greenery target to or to 30% right now, it's 24, okay. Target greenery coverage percentage. Filling this is your primary goal, okay. So, can I place down another one? I can. But the map does not expand or anything like that. Fair enough. I guess I'll try and clean up one of these corners. If that's possible. The map's kind of tiny, dude. Did we win the game? I don't think we've won the game yet. But we're getting real close now. This is the exact opposite of most games that I play, though, guys. In this game, we are not giving the middle finger to Mother Nature. In this game, we have to... Try and bring it back. That's insane. Okay. I think I beat the tutorial. Uh, there's a little ad break, by the way, starting up in 15 seconds. Low wave. Sorry for those of you that have to watch those. I wish I could turn them off, but I can't. Thank you very much, Kyle. Who now is a sub? He doesn't see any ads anyway. Anyways, uh, no sellout. I'm just letting you know. Um, reclaim 187 more greenery tiles to unlock. Okay. Can I destroy this thing? I would like to destroy this thing because it's not pretty. Okay, fine. Roll the credits. Yeah, yeah, I think I beat the game. Okay, I'm going to set up one over here. This is a good spot, dude. I will set up toxin scrubbers wherever I can. Four T he six. <laughs> Welcome back. Appreciate you, Alakdar. Tee Tee Um I guess whatever gives me the biggest number is what I should be aiming for, no? Although, obviously, I also want to fill in as many of them as I can. I don't seem to have a... I don't know. Oh, I think I did the thing already. That was quick. A water pump. Water pumps... Uh, or, sorry, it pumps water to fill dry riverbeds. River banks are cleansed by the water. Range is extended by elevation. Okay, this is not the Netherlands after all, guys. We don't have any elevation. I don't believe in a concept called elevation. I, uh... I'm merely familiar with the idea of mountains. Okay. Is this a Switzerland simulator? Yeah, it could be. You live in Switzerland now, right, Papuch? You should probably be able to recognize it soon enough. Okay. Making progress. I thought water pumps are supposed to pump water out, not in. No, 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 no. You're entirely wrong. Your Dutch is showing right now at I'm the Hogbo. Your Dutch is uh, hanging out. I guess I'll just put one of these things down over here, too. I don't know what happens if I were to put another windmill within range or another one of these uh, toxin scrubbers. 
Like, say I build another Toxin Scrubber over here. Since that thing technically was in range of that in the past, does it still irrigate that land? It does not. Okay. So I would have to build another one. I see. I see. Um, okay. I mean, I kind of like the water pumps, but I can only put those in very specific locations. Does it double up? Does it, like, create more... I thought maybe uh, it would overflow or something like that, but... There's magical water, dude, coming out of that pump right over there. I'm max minning right now. Yeah, yeah. The opposite of min maxing. Okay, let's do another one of these. Windmills seem to be the most effective, guys. Unsurprisingly. Because windmills, of course, overpowered as hell. There we go. Let's put down an irrigator. I now have a calcifier. Crystallizes nearby greenery, creating rock. Okay. When do I unlock cool power plants, guys? Do we get any cool power plants yet? Don't think so, Loco. Nice clean coal, dude. I'm inspired by recent decisions coming out of Germany. <laughs> I want to set up some nice clean coal in my beautiful area. Hmm. Apparently not the case. I can make rocks, though, so that's kind of nice. Um, we can get a water pump over here on the high ground, too. Uh, as long as everything fills in, I guess it doesn't really matter where I put it. Hey, Polderong, what's up? Almost 90 now. Make more creep. I mean terraform this land and make it more Netherlands. <laughs> I will try and nether it as much as possible. Thank you very much, Polderong. 90 months. Oof, that's a long time. Imagine being subbed to my channel for 90 months, chat. Yikes. It's over nature. I have the high ground. Okay. Uh, I can put one of those things down over here, too. So I need a little bit more over here to fill that one in. Can I maybe make a... I can make a windmill over here. That seems like a great idea. Okay. And that should... I'll just plant two of them. Doesn't really matter. Okay. What else do I have? An excavator. Creates a new riverbed, but poison the, uh, poisons the land around it. Can be rotated. Okay. I can make my own river? Right over here? Oh, shit. Okay, I see. Probably not ideal. I should probably not do that. We have a little uh, revert button. That's nice. I could shoot a cannon. Zone grote the fuel jongen. No, you guys. Okay, no. Okay, fine. Yeah, those are like 2009 Dutch memes. I don't think a lot of people are familiar with 2009 Dutch memes. Oh, there's a couple of Germans also familiar with it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's not bad. Loco, when will you do a Dutch-only stream? Hopefully never. That would be very cringe. Oh, I also can't actually do anything anymore with this land. Okay, so that's just uh, permanently uh, screwed right now. Fair enough. Um, do I just have to... I think I just have to connect. I mean, the fastest way seems to be with these toxin scrubbers. They're pretty easy. I mean, I, I don't... like. I, I guess this is my amount of resources that I've got. I'm not exactly sure, but... Um, 
I don't seem to be running out. Eh, I'm getting a little low, I guess. But you fill it in again as well with more greenery. Yeah, so you spend it and then you get the same resource back again. When you, uh... Create nature. Okay. 93%. I gotta scrub the toxicity. Exactly. If only that was an option in the chat as well. The toxicity in our Twitch chat. In our Twitch chat. Dude, I am a windmill guy. I never realized it. I'm just trying to fill in 100%. Yeah. Like it could be worse. You could be playing League. Are you suggesting League of Legends is a toxic game? I have a hard time believing that. League is known to be the most welcoming and loving community on the entire internet. Irrigators seem to be by far the best way of doing it, guys. There you go. 106%. I did it! Reclaiming this landscape will involve wind turbines for power, toxin scrubbers to clean soil, and water pumps to restore the river. The steps to creating a temperate forest are not always straightforward, and you may need to use controlled fires before the trees can thrive. Okay. Look at your Dutch, of course, you're the windmill guy. We have some pretty cool windmill farms in the Netherlands, okay? We have a, uh, a sea, right? Called the North Sea. I know. Incredible. Um, since we've run out of space on land in a lot of locations, they've been planting these things all over the North Sea, which is actually kind of cool. So, like, when you fly into Amsterdam, if you look out of the window, you can oftentimes just see, like, loads and loads and loads of them. Apparently, the North Sea is pretty shallow in most area or in most areas. It's, uh... Yeah, they, they just secured some stuff as well to basically continue that project, which is kind of neat. I actually think it's really cool. <sighs> Offshore wind, yeah. It also murders birds. Yes, it does slaughter birds. Recently, there was a vote. Um, what's going on, Figaro? 13th month of subscription. Feels like a week. Mere days. Thank you for your videos and entertainment. P.S. Wisdom of the day. Did you know that your tongue knows exactly how everything feels like when you look at it? Thank me later. Cap. Thank you. Thank you, Figaro. That is great information. I appreciate it. Yeah, so they found out with um, with windmills that apparently if you like, if you have like a wind turbine, right? If you paint one of the... What do you call them? The wings? Spokes? Blades? Whatever. If you paint one of those things a different color, birds don't fly into them nearly as quickly. Um, so I think the idea was that they were going to paint every single one of those blades, spokes, whatever you want to call them. Um, they were going to paint every single one of those black. And I was a vote for that in Dutch politics like a couple months ago. And for some reason, some parties were like, no, <laughs> fuck the birds. Just let the birds die. We can't have money for paint. We can't afford. <laughs> it wasn't even expensive. It was really strange. I can't imagine being a, a politician and I'm looking at that and you're like, nah, man. Nah, the, nah, screw the birds. Yeah, it's a secret plot by cats or something. I don't know, man. Birds are government drones anyway. Yeah, maybe that's what's going on, Ricochet. Maybe that explains it. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I couldn't, like, it's one of those things where you could almost not come up with any downside other than, like, it'll cost a little bit of money. Alright, it'll, it'll, it'll cost a little bit of money, but fair enough. No, no, so you paint only one of the three blades. Yeah, so if you paint, a, like, one of the three blades a different color, apparently birds no longer fly into them. Which seemed like an absolute no-brainer in my mind, but... Um, apparently some political parties were like, mm. 
Anyways, um, let's see. So, once the backbone of the ecosystem is thriving, your next step is to increase the diversity of growing plants. Introduce fine balls? Is that an English word? Because that looks like an old Dutch word. Anyways, introduce fine balls, wetlands, and forests. You'll also need to begin to pay attention to the local climate. It's an Afrikaans word? It does look like an Afrikaans word, yeah. Ah, huh, that's neat. Okay, so this is my third step, I guess. This is all locked. Oh, dude, there's a lot to unlock. Oh my god, it keeps going. What? Yo, are these old things I can unlock? Because it just keeps going. Oh, okay, I got step two over here. Oh, I really don't like this. I thought I was going to go to a different uh, area, but... <laughs> this abomination that I've built so far continues? I thought we would start with a fresh map. Okay, um, I guess I'll continue. Thin bows, greater than noun, a distinctive type of vegetation found only on the southern tip of Africa. It includes Just a on the tip? wide range of plant species, particularly small heather-like trees and shrubs. Okay, so just the tip. I see. Thank you, uh, Figaro. Appreciate you. I got this. The hydroponium creates wetland. Must be built on an irrigator nearby water and on the low ground. Okay. Ooh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I like that a lot. That looks really nice. So these guys fly into wind turbines, guys. That's why... <laughs> they wanted to paint one. Watch out! Watch out! They're right there! Watch out! Oh, God. Murder life on stream, dude. Ah, oh, never mind. They're good. They're fine. Don't worry about them. They're okay. They're all right. Okay, so I gotta get 100% wetland as well. I guess 100% fine balls and then 100% forest. Should have painted that one blade black, man. Maybe they would have recognized their own species because they're also white and black. Anyways. Um, okay, we'll start with the hydroponium, I guess. I'll just throw them down on every single one of these things. Oh, that does look really neat. Retry map, handbook, okay. Okay, let's do the that. The game is interesting, but personally I feel it doesn't provide enough of a challenge slash enough content for its prize. Yeah, so that seems to be the main criticism that people have of this particular game. So that's why I'm here to find out, Neon Silver. Thank you for your resub, I appreciate you. I really like the art. Um, 50 cents. <laughs> thank you. 50 cents? Are you in the club right now, HMHBV? Thank you for 50 months. So some of these don't give you a whole lot though. This is just plus five. Thank you, Echo Steel. Starting up the hype train by gifting a sub to Mugetsu. Nice. Okay, so I've got 100% wetland. Nice. I kind of like the... Um, I don't know, for me it could have even been more pixely. I, I've I've grown quite fond of the more pixel type of arts, but this is it looks pretty nice. I like it. Okay, a beehive. Swarming bees pollinate nearby greenery, creating flowers. Environment hype. <laughs> Thank you, James. I appreciate you. Welcome back. Okay. I'll just try and get a hundred percent the forest thing right over there too. Okay, yeah, so that's just dead right now. There's nothing else I can do over there anymore. How much is this game? 25 euro. 25 euro is what I paid this morning. Um, really, it's 35 dollars and 25 euro? For once, it's cheaper in euros than it is in dollars? Hold up, am I wrong? I'm... 
99% sure I paid 25 euro today. Um, Terra nil. Steam. I bought it on Steam this morning. No, it's 25 euro. It's definitely 25 euro. So the deluxe edition is 35. I don't know what the difference is. I never buy deluxe editions. It has the soundtrack and the digital art book. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't usually buy those, but you can buy those, I guess. But I would say that the game is 25 euro. Um I I yeah, I don't know why you would go off of deluxe pricing. Um okay. And then we have Forest. Allowing you to create a controlled burn? Hold up right now. I need to create a forest. Do you create a forest by burning shit down? Because you know what? I'm here for it, but... Okay, well, I've just unlocked this thing. We'll give it a try. Yeah, ashes can obviously add nutrients. I get that, but... Burn it! Burn it to the ground! Fires can only be started in the fan balls. Okay. Hans! Hans, get the Flammenwerfer, schnell! It's not burning, guys. Can I burn more stuff over here? Oh, wait. Do I have to... Oh, I have to start the fire manually, I think. Oh my god. Yay? I think, maybe? Mission failed successfully? Well, I uh, burned it all to the ground. This provides nutrients, Chet. Next year, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I saw that actually. That's actually kind of neat. Um, in the main menu of the game, it says that 8% of the revenue of this game goes to endangered wildlife, which is kind of cool. Don't normally see that. That's that's pretty neat. Hey, thank you very much, Rentonox, by the way, for the 34. Local confirmed arsonist. Yo, 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 hold up. Okay, an arbitrarium or arboretum. Yes, New uses nutritious ash to create forests. Can only be built on a burnt building husk. I see. Okay. I think this game is better value though than buying the new FIFA, guys. And people buy the new FIFA every year. Even though it's 80 bucks, you gotta buy the, the packs. And it's basically the same game as last year. Uh, <laughs> but hey. I also, uh, you know, for me, buying video games is also a little different, right? Because of what I do. But, yeah. It's not a very high bar. I, I get that. But yeah. Okay, so now my fine bulls has once again gone down. I see. So I gotta get my beehive back. But I can throw these on trees. But I need more of that green terrain, I guess. Ah, okay. Is that where the meme becomes a little tricky? So I should really try and create more fertile ground over here. Yeah, so if I put one of these things down, it will create more fertile ground, I guess. Can I then throw up a beehive? Or do I... Do I have to do an irrigator first? I think I have to do an irrigator first. Yeah, yeah, so we gotta make the land green first before we can do that. And then I should be able to go with the beehive situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so there's actually a little bit of strategy involved. I see. <sighs> but that one famous player has different stats this year, Loco? That's true. That's true, dude. I mean, if you like FIFA, it's well worth it. Personally, I wish there was a new, uh, a new StarCraft every year. <laughs> I would be first in line if there was a new StarCraft every year, dude. I'd be like, oh my god, guys. StarCraft 23 coming up. 
I'm excited. Sadly not the case though. Okay. And then uh I got to get some 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 trees over here, right? So what's my best way of creating trees? Burn shit down, then put down a tree? Is that the build order? I would very much so like to irrigate all of this too if I can though. Okay. Um, so if I want to burn stuff to the ground, I gotta use the solar amplifier. Can I use what? What so? What exactly can I burn? Can I target just grassland for burning? No, I can't. So I I gotta I gotta target one of the other things. Okay. Loco, that's not how fire works. <laughs> Look, I don't go outside very much. I don't like it when you roast me like that. Okay. Okay, burn all of this as well. Get it done. Is there usually a revert button in real life? Yeah, they do this in Australia every year, man. It'll be in the news soon enough. All of Australia is on fire again, and you're like, is that good? Is that bad? I can't figure it out. Okay, there we go. Um... My fine boss is not doing so hot anymore. But now, I should be able to create two squares right over there. We did it. It's good and bad, right. So if I want to create green land over here that doesn't have trees in it, well, how would I go around doing that right here? I have this thing, a research center. Unlocks the or reduces the cost of some buildings and unlocks the ability to manipulate the region's climate Okay, I can do that Look guys they spelled center wrong ha <laughs> look Americans what's going on here centre what is this French? Okay, fine. I'll put this thing down over here now that you've learned the basics of restoration, you need to begin to address the regional climate. Okay, here we go. Um, for those of you that uh, are worried about climate change, that includes myself, uh, pay very close attention, okay? This is how you, how you fix it. The climate is defined by these attributes. Right now, we are only interested in humidity, but these will change in future. Okay. Research or reaching certain thresholds of attributes will have broad effects on the environments. Okay. So this provides greenery, right? So that's that thing we had earlier. Creates greenery by watering nearby clean soil. Greenery generates resources can be rotated, right? Buildings that grow plants like the irrigator or the beehive are also affected by regional climate. I see. So I have a clout cedar. Use the surrounding water and ocean to encourage cloud formation and increased ambient humidity. Cultivating the right climate is an important step in your reclamation journey. Good luck. Okay, let me just change the environment real quick, guys. This <laughs> I, I got this easy, don't worry. This is gonna be very straightforward. Okay, I made the world more moist. That's good, right? That's a lot of moist right over there. Mm-mm. Look at all this shrubbery. It's very juicy right now over there, yeah. 
It's very good. I'll do a little bit more over there too. Uh, there's a little bar in the top right hand corner that you guys can't see. I'll move my camera out of the way. I'm moisturizing the planet, guys. Exactly. That's what we're doing. Salmon? Water lilies? Okay. Rain begins. Okay, it's gonna rain. Let's see. I bl yeah, I bring the drip. You've been struck by... No, wait. Wrong song. That's the smooth criminal. That is not Thunderstruck. Thunder! Na, 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 na. Yo! Rain is passive income, dude. Look at this. Invest in your own cloud seeder today. I did the rain dance, man. That's amazing. Mm. And some of this polluted area also got fixed. I Yeah, I gotta bless the rains. I'm just gonna wait until the rain's over, dude. So is this number going down? I guess so. I had to clean out my spice rack and noticed that everything was too old and had to be thrown out. What a waste of time. Thank you, Izo has for the 45. He wasted his time. Hate it when that happens. I think the real build order with spices is forgetting that you have spices and then buying a new one because you're not entirely sure. You're like, ah, paprika, do I still have like the, ah, I guess I'll get the new, and then you end up with three fucking little, little, th that's the build order. That's how most adults handle their spices, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> cumin? Cumin. Have I ever, cumin? Have I, I, I don't know if I have cumin. I guess not. I guess, you know, then you come home, you got two bottles of cumin sitting right there. Too little, yeah. Do spices ever go bad? I mean, they will go bad, yeah. Most of them will lose flavor, I guess, but it's not like they will make you sick. I don't think so. Well, unless, you know, they're very old. That's you and basil? You have three bottles of open cumin? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that explains the cooking ballistical. If your uh, food is flavorless, Maybe you've been using spices that are, uh, not particularly good anymore. Okay. Um, right, don't eat mold. For obvious reasons, don't eat mold. Mold's bad, guys. Oh, Loco said the spices don't go bad, so I decided to eat it all. No, chat. Okay. Unless it's a type of cheese, you know, there's cheese where it's technically mold, but that's what you look- I don't know, guys. I don't make the rules. There it is. Hey, thank you, Alice. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Actually, is that a welcome back? No, that was a first time sub. Thank you, Alice. Malt is used in, in medicine, too. Yeah. I don't recommend you eat malt, though. Bad idea, guys. With plant life and climate reestablished, the final step is to construct an airship. That's the final step? If you would have given me uh, two hours to write down all of the final steps, I don't think I would have thought of constructing an airship. Anyways, uh, by recycling your buildings, as you remove your presence, introduce Fauna to be the new custodians of this ecosystem? Oh shit, I gotta actually destroy the things again? 
allows for the construction of the airship with materials recycled from other buildings. Okay, so we gotta build that in water, it seems? Or at least, maybe this one. I don't know. Recycles other buildings and stores at a portion of their cost. Okay. Uh, do I just... Is it bad? To destroy all the... I, I should probably move that a little bit, actually. There you go. Okay. I have a recycling drone. Travels along rivers to collect recycled material from loading docks. There's a loading dock. Loads recycled materials from the surrounding buildings and silos onto the recycling drone. Gotcha. Oh my god. I have a little remote controlled boat. I would have loved that as a kid, dude. Holy shit, I would have loved a remote control boat. Okay. Um. So I guess the loading dock always comes in pairs. Does it automatically remove all the stuff there? I guess not, right? Oh, it does. Okay. So as long as it's close to water, that's all I really need to use. Thank you, Dr. Minotauro. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, a pound lock allows the recycling drone to travel up and down waterfalls. Really? I mean, that's a really tiny waterfall. It's not really the size of the waterfall that matters so much, but... Okay, and then we have an animal observatory. Allows the use of sonar ping to encourage animal species to move into the habitat. <laughs> a sonar ping to... to really? Okay, the final step as recycling progresses is to reintroduce animals. New animal species will help maintain the ecosystem long after your buildings are packed away. Animal species need to be scanned for. Open the scanning panel here. Oh dear. This grazer lives in herds on wide open grassland? Okay. This small amphibian lives in the reeds of a wetland near the Feinbos field. That's a frog, dude. This large carnivore domain is a... F Carnivore's domain, rather, is a forest which contains a beehive and is on a hill. Did you guys know bears only eat honey? Yo, Romanians in the chat that have been struggling with bears for decades. Have you guys considered bees? Okay, we have loads and loads. We have wolves and whatever this is. This is a bird. A web-footed waterfowl. <laughs> I kind of like how they're... It's like they're trying to not break trademarks and copyrights by describing the animal rather than naming it. <laughs> a web-footed waterfowl. <laughs> Love that. An industrious rodent. Yeah, who's that Pokemon? Doo -doo -doo. It's duck. Quack. That was no, it is not a very good duck. Quack. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Uh, use these animal portraits to switch between animals and get a hint about where each species lives. Uh, I will go with the deer. Sure. They live on wide open grasslands. Dude, this is pretty fucking wide open over here. You need to find suitable habitats for at least three animals. Oh dear, here we go. Um, so, uh, how do I do this? I have my sonar scanning over here. Sonar, what are you scanning for? In range of greenery. Okay. I don't understand. Okay, first I guess I'll, I'll continue the recycling uh, situation here.
Get out of here, loco. So how do I recycle things if my boat can't pick them up from here? I'm not exactly sure. Paper isn't just bad for the environment, dot, it's terrible. <sighs> Joptopus, thank you, man. Okay. So now I've got all these things. Why is there a little bouncy arrow? To indicate, I guess, where they are. I can't reach this down below over here, though. How do I get all the way down here? I got very uh, eager with planting down some of these things, but... This is, I guess, why we need to make some of these... Um... Those things. The guns. Is that the only way for me to create... Space? So if I want to create a riverbed, is this the way I do it? I guess I can't place them anymore because they require power. I see. I guess I also need power though to have the observatory running. Um, I will try and shoot rockets over here. Boom! Okay. I then want to pick up stuff. Hello. What's this? Modern nature strikes again with her bullsh- I mean, um... Her less than pleasant decision making. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Good casts this weekend. What is it called when an IT person gets finger surgery? Technical support. Thank you very much, Sysadmin, for the five euro donation. I appreciate you. <sighs> So, if I have a high ground over here, right? What exactly does it destroy? Okay. So I need... <laughs> guys, I... <laughs> this little bit of grassland is messing everything up. How do I create... Ah, oh, jeez. Does the water pump do anything? Oh, the water pump does help in that department, actually. Okay, so hold up. If I put a water pump over here... ...and over here... ...and then I do one of these things... No, it can't reach, because there's technically a little bit of that other area here. I'm gonna destroy the land by saving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize I was uh, not supposed to build out that far. Um, and I made grassland all around this. Which, um... Okay, okay. Destroy all of this, please. Oh, maybe it can go through some of this green stuff. Okay. I'm very good at losing tutorial. Uh, like, just in games in general. Let's see. Okay. We put down a water pump. Fill it all in. And then... Oh, we're getting real close now. Yeah, I just need to get one more. Uh, can I also use my gun? Yeah, okay. Oh, that is cheeky, guys. Okay. Um... 
I did not really plan for this at all. But I think we should be able to get it eventually. Okay. Water. And then we should be able to pick everything up now. Really? Does it need to be too white? Is that the problem? It doesn't seem to be too white in this little screen over here now. I need to just pick up one of these things over here, but there is a little stream that goes... Uh, maybe they're still land blocking me? Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, I guess they're not connected technically over here. That's probably the problem. Okay. Um, I'll have to use one more... Uh... Oh no, the rain's coming back. Does that shoot regardless right now? Because it didn't shoot... I don't think so. Okay, not the cleanest ending to a game ever. But we should now have a way for it to get all the way over here, no? Wait, it still doesn't work? Oh, it's still not connected, look. It's still uh, somehow not connected here, even though I feel like the water would obviously be continuing here. Okay. Let's do it like this. Can you go here now? Now it can go here. Okay, nice. There we go. 99%, 100%. There it is. <laughs> 